Clovis Field, New Mexico, newsmen are on hand to see the Army's first radio-controlled four-engine airplane to be used in photographing the atom bomb tests at Bikini Atoll in the Pacific in May and July. The newsreel cameraman will be the only man aboard in this test made with an old Flying Fortress bomber. No pilot, no co-pilot, no crew for this plane. The takeoff is directed by the operator on the ground. Once in the air, control is switched from the ground to a mothership, which regulates its every movement. This is the mothership. And this is the pilotless plane. Four such radio-directed planes will fly over Bikini Atoll in connection with America's atomic bomb experiments against obsolete and enemy naval vessels. And here is Bikini, nearly 4,000 miles from the United States, a tiny coral atoll destined for atomic bomb experiments. Here, a long way from the heavily populated areas of the world, the Army and Navy will put the atom bomb through a laboratory test. Here, a whole fleet of iron ships will undergo the attack, observed by scores of military men and men of science. The people of Bikini are to be moved elsewhere. These first pictures of the little island show the 165 men, women, and children as they prepare for the move to another small island, a safe distance away. Navy ships and planes are already in service off Bikini, preparing anchorages for the ships. In front of the palm-thatched community house, an American naval officer, through an interpreter, discusses plans for moving the people. The Navy is transporting the entire population to Ronjerick Atoll and paying a fair price for property that can't be taken along. The people of Bikini are a happy people, and they chat gaily with the Americans as they wait to leave. Modern dentistry brings only laughter. An advanced construction party of native men and Navy engineers moves from the little island to build homes for the entire community on the new island. The women and children wave them a happy farewell as they look forward to their own ocean voyage and their new homes.